What we're gonna do here now is take this old countertop and make it look like this nice granite. It's gonna have a nice glossy shine. You're gonna be able to find this product in the description below, but, this, but essentially it's paint with a gloss on top. What you're gonna do first is make sure your counter is nice and clean. Uh, any oils or anything, make sure you take off. Then you're gonna take this black primer and you're gonna put it on all the surfaces that are gonna be, uh, that you want to look like granite. So it comes with a roller and a brush, and just use the brush on the you know, smaller edges and corners, use the roller to get all the flat surfaces. One thing you want to make sure you do is uh, tape off anything that you don't want this primer to touch. So for us, basically, it was the sink. We didn't have to worry about any other surface because we're going to repaint everything else after. Once you have the primer on, you got to start putting the different colors on. It comes with three colors. One thing we notice is to get the corners, sometimes you want to cut a brush into kind of a triangle pattern. We had an old brush there and it was really helpful getting into the corners. Um, but essentially you take those three colors and you kind of dab it on, dab it on, and then you have these sponges also that give it kind of a textured look. My wife's not an artist, but after a little bit of practice, she really got the hang of it. You can kind of practice on a piece of paper, um, but you just tap on those different colors and you use the sponge to give it a texture. And I think it turned out really nice. Now what you're gonna do is take the gloss and you're going to uh, dip it in there and then just kind of apply it back and forth. Uh, you could start with, I would start with, with the boards and back or corners and then the larger flat surfaces. Uh, you can kind of apply it on and then once you have it on there, then you're gonna smooth it out by rolling it one last time. Now you're actually gonna to wanna to put on two coats instead of just one. And that's what's gonna give it kind of protection, but also a nice shine. So that's what, it, what it's gonna look like when it's done. It should be a nice smooth finish. But here again, you see it for rolling it on. And then when you're done, you just do one time pass through. And so essentially you wanna get that, to get that smooth finish, you wanna, get it on there and then go over a small area, maybe three or four feet. But overall, we're really pleased with it. Even after two months of using it, it turned out really well. Remember, we taped everything off, but now that the paint and the gloss is dried, we need to take it off. So use a X-Acto knife or a box cutter and just run it along the edge so that when you pull the tape up, you don't pull any paint with it. It'll need to dry for a couple days after your final coat, but Overall, we're really pleased with it. Even after two months of using it, it turned out really well. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, consider looking in the description. This video is actually part of a larger project where I transformed my kitchen for only $500.